Hi there Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of June. If you tuned in last week, you'll know that Venus, the planet of love and affection, came under a bit of pressure from Saturn, the planet of restriction, and balancing your home and work demands may have proved a bit tricky. Now that aspect is still in influence on Monday of this week. But by Tuesday, Venus is starting to forge a truly beautiful link with Jupiter. This aspect is asking you to beautify yourself or your home. So it's time for some full-on nurture. And if you do enjoy some pampering, well, go for it. It can be very therapeutic. But if you do want to decorate, change your home in such a way to make it more comfortable, or even spend some time or money on your garden, all of these things can be very, very good for you. Now, there is also another change on Tuesday when Mercury, the planet of communication, rewinds into your sister air sign of Gemini. Now, this takes the planet back to where it was before, before it moved into Cancer. But, of course, being in the retrograde still, it can still be a trickster, and it is connecting with the Sun very tightly through to Friday. Now this can be brilliant because when these two are virtually side by side or combust, it gives us an opportunity to be very, very spontaneous. And in this particular environment for you, very creative, or it could see you wanting to express your desire to be individualistic, especially as both these planets are forging an awesome link to the North Node in your other sister air sign of Libra. And this all points towards you just having the confidence to go for it and it might be in a way or around something that you've previously tried before but you're rejigging it. The retrograde is helping you to refigure how you can apply this talent or skill or artistry that you have. Now there's no denying that Mercury retrograde can cause some problems with appointments, dates, travel plans, send in packages, anything like that may be something that you're still going to encounter. But you can't control all of it. All you can control is the bit that's immediately uh, influenceable by you. And unfortunately, one area of this week which is a bit more random is a clash between Mars and also Pluto. Now Mars has been in a very pioneering part of your horoscope since the end of last year but it has also tracked backwards during that time too. And if things in your world haven't been expanding at quite the pace you want, this may have been creating a lot of frustrations. Now this particular influence with Pluto suggests that when it comes to legalities or things that have been pushed to one side that you'd rather not look at, if you try to drive any changes too quickly, there may be old agendas that will then come back into play that you do need to deal with. And once the sun moves this week, on Saturday, into the more practical area of cancer, you'll be asked to get to grips with the nitty gritty of life, which of course isn't particularly sexy. But what the sun will enable you to do here is just to try to make the strands that you are working on work that much more efficiently. Don't see that as being unsexy, it can actually be very effective. And if you do want to get a bit fitter, take your diet and your exercise routines a little bit more seriously, the sun's going to give you a lot of fine support over the next four weeks. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.